reacts. Yes, I'm testing one, two, three, and we are live. What's up, guys? George the Cloud here. My name is Jorge, aka George. Welcome to the channel and welcome to my life. Man, the intro is getting better every day. I'm getting the flow of it, you know? Just takes time and practice. But uh, yeah, guys, today we're checking out a new artist for the very first time in the history of, you know, for the four months old that this channel is. We're checking out Disturbed. Don't tell me. Featuring Ann Wilson official music video. I don't think I've ever heard of Ann Wilson. I have heard of Owen Wilson. But uh, that's a, you know, that's a different ballpark. Um, what's his, um, uh, what's his thing? Man. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, I'm getting carried away, but, um, yeah, we're checking out this song. Don't really know Disturbed that well. I think the only songs I can remember from them are Down With The Sickness, Freak On A Leash, I think it's by them. And the most famous is their cover of, um, um the uh, sound of silence that they did in conan live i think i watched that when back then literally when it was when it went live this is i think 2016 or something like that or 2013 i used to watch a lot of conan but uh yeah guys let's just get right into the video i don't know why i'm looking a bit sickly today um i think i have a pimple here so you guys just try to guys try to ignore it and focus on the content at hand get some popcorn fill up your water put your headphones on on, on. And let's go <laughs>
God, this is so relatable. All right, guys, wait for the commentary. You do not want to miss what's coming next. But first things first, where's the screen? We uh, hit the like, subscribe to Disturbed, of course, even hitting the bell. I'm serious. And I'll have a link of the original video down in the description below. So if you exit out of the video right now, go ahead. Fine. Fine. Just do it. But uh, if you stay, then I give you a round of applause because it is the second most important part of the video right after the actual video. <laughs> so um, don't tell me this is going to be so catchy. You know how there's different sayings or like phrases that you say for, you know, whatever it may be, such as don't tell me like, oh, don't tell me you didn't, you know, wash the car or something like that. So now every time I'm, I'm going to say don't tell me in that kind of context, I'm going to uh, remember this song. So very, very good title, catchy, straight to the point, pretty, you know, the lyrics are like, just there nothing really kind of mysterious or sketchy aside from the actual music video but um, what I get from this is that and that's why I said it's so relatable talking about love once again uh, you know how you, when you're in a relationship whatever it may be maybe it hasn't been that long or maybe it has so even worse and then things start to kind of crumble and ultimately fall apart completely down into the deepest abyss imaginable i'm getting carried away here but the point is right before that happens maybe your partner the other person they start to show signs and you're like oh god don't tell me you know don't tell me now that you don't like this about me or that you've been feeling this way or that you have another man in your life it could be i don't know but um i think many people can listen to the song and be like yep i've been there or i could picture myself there and it would be devastating because at that point you are in a great dilemma do you try to save the relationship and move past what just happened or do you call it quits altogether either way the decision is pretty big and drastic so um i think don't tell me is referring to the song is where you're at that stage in a relationship where you have to make a choice right it's a it's a it's a major stage chapter whatever situation and i think that's why it hits so hard what i enjoy about the music video i think most disturbed music videos are like this although i haven't watched that many like i said i just have the um like intuition that this is how they make all of them so it is desaturated in color a lot of shadows contrast this would be a filter like sepia i think they call it the sepia filter where it's like a little bit of yellowish black and white and then you add yellow for the for the tones and it is effective in conveying emotion and in getting you to focus on what is at hand. Because right now, look at this shot. Even though he's wearing, you know, like a long sleeve shirt, the background is black. His shirt is black. You can only see his face and his hand. It's like, boom, right there. I'm looking at this in an artistic point of view because I am an artist visual artist in fine arts i'm not a musician guys and i'm not a doctor or a scientist i'm sorry to disappoint this is the perspective of somebody that is artistic and just likes to listen to music so i'm looking at the shot for example and th this is why i'm saying it's so effective you you look at him his facial expression right emotional conveying that every lyrics that he's saying he makes you believe the words coming out of his mouth and you really only focus on this because the rest is dark. So that's why I'm saying it is a good effect that they're using here. Super contrast, shadows, mostly everything around the um, objective is dark. And um, yeah, I, I enjoy this type of music video because it is not overwhelming or super, you know, like 
uh, visual traffic as i like to call it because sometimes you see music videos that they're like they change a scene every half a second so it is all over the place and uh, to me it's a bit too much but this one is great it goes along well with the song and um last but not least before i even forget who is ann wilson her voice actually really surprised me i don't know what i was expecting i never go into any video really with expectations just because i like to be surprised and whatever happens happens but for some reason i just thought maybe she would be younger and have this more like high-pitched feminine voice to contrast the main singer's voice here which I, i'm not sure his name somebody comment down below please by the way the comments are the way to my heart and please let me know where did she come from is she a singer in a different band uh from like a long time ago or something where how have i never heard of ann wilson or maybe i have but it sounds like such a maybe normal or average uh name not to be offensive just like ann wilson i think could be you know a writer or or like a a newscast person something like that so it maybe it just flew over my head and i have heard it before and she also looks a bit older here, so that's why I'm saying maybe she was a a rock singer for a band back in the day. But her voice really complemented his voice. It was almost like it was the female version of his voice and vice versa. It was the male version of her voice, like this kind of deep, grudgy, raspy, powerful voice that... Um, yeah, it just worked so well with both of them. So this was great, guys. Uh, I really enjoyed it. And if you if you enjoyed the reaction, what the heck? What the heck? Hit the like, subscribe, share, recommend, ring the bell, all that. Even join. I implore you. I beg you. <laughs> join the channel if you want to support me. And at the end, do a flip. Don't forget to comment. Till the next.